Oxymoron is asking, uh, do you think WHO is pushing a bit too far by adding vague dim dimension like spiritual well-being to health? I don't know much about this, but I think, do you know much about this? I'm going to look this A up. little bit, yeah. yeah. Um, so this, this is something that um, has been talked about a lot more in various uh, medical and health communities around the world. Um, this concept of spiritual well-being being something that's important. So oftentimes when those institutions are using spiritual, they're not using it in the same sense that the everyday uh, individual would be using them as, right? Like when you walk on the street and somebody says they're spiritual, the way that the WHO and other medical establishments are interpreting this is not in that supernaturally kind of view, but more in the sense that it seems for the vast majority of people, probably not every single individual, but for the very, very vast majority of human beings, this component of your life about some of these existentially type questions is actually something that can bring you harm. Just being by, just even as simple as being anxious about it all the time, right? Not the obvious harms that, that, you know, religion and, and some of these kind of paths can lead down, but specifically just that as kind of a whole thing, this is an aspect to being a person, it seems, that we all kind of, at least in some way, some of us come out on an atheist side, some of us come out on a theist side, all the things in between, but it's kind of like, it's kind of like um, sexual health being something that's important. So not everybody is sexual, right? Some people are asexual. And, and that's perfectly fine and they're perfectly healthy with that. But coming to terms with that and understanding what is the best for them in that component is, is still very important. It, the sexual health part doesn't mean you have to be having sex all the time, right? Just like the spiritual health doesn't mean you have to believe in ghosts and gods and stuff. It's just more along the lines of kind of this is a, a major component for people. Okay, Hopefully but what sense. what is the difference between spiritual? Like, why don't we just have mental health? Yeah, why are we talking? yeah, why? and I I think it it probably is fair if this were were just completely wrapped up into that. I understand why I think they want to distinguish it a little bit. What um, the hell is spiritual health? Again, it, I I think it's that kind of generalized feeling that most people have where we at least engage in these these thought processes around these big questions so like is there an afterlife it doesn't mean this spiritual health thing doesn't mean you have to believe in an afterlife it just means it that a lot of us seem to have this problem that we struggle with and we wrestle with these questions and coming to terms with that on your own is is going to be Here. very important here's so, a definition okay yeah the definition is spiritual health includes, okay, so it's not a definition. It just tells you what it includes. A purposeful life, sure. transcendence, yeah. and actualization of different dimensions and capacities of human being. Yeah. A lot of these are really flowery words, but they don't ultimately mental mean Mental health. I mean. Mental <laughs> health. If, if, you're, if, if you want to focus more on. Okay, here the individual say like components of the brain that could have that could have uh, problems with it that could bring harm to your mental health if you want to focus heavily on that i can see why this is a different category just because you want to actually focus on the physical substrate of the brain you want to say hey these neurons aren't firing properly or these neurotransmitters aren't in enough quantity in your brain to give you these things right so i again i think it could I mean, probably mental health, mental health is the, not you talked about always in the form of neurons you no i no, about... i know i'm saying if you wanted to focus more in that vein i think making this distinction between these categories is is more worthwhile and i'm not i'm not positive that's exactly what they're doing but Look, I, I, look, it says uh, spiritual health creates a balance between physical, psychological, and social aspects of human yeah. life. So does mental health. I mean, yeah. like, I don't understand what is being added here. I think this is dangerous. Using this kind of language makes it seem like 
religion had a point. Yeah, I, we I already would. have. We already had mental health. Mental health includes sure. self actualization, having a purposeful life. What the hell? Yeah. Why do you have to go ahead and call it spiritual? Like this yeah. is like again. I, mean, I, mean, I would it, have preferred it, it, a different term. I think there yeah. are some better. Like there are some better terms that kind of get at the same thing as what spiritual does oftentimes because there is an yeah. argument that spiritual is actually more secular um at least at least in some usages and it's not really like this is a gateway drug religion. to religion this is like, <laughs> no, no no this is like oh this is like this is a good way to convince secular people that maybe they need religion okay it's a gateway drug they're like oh, oh you're sad Maybe your spiritual, uh, your 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 spiritual health is in decline. You need something spiritually, and people mm -hmm. are like, oh, scientists are telling me that I need spirituality. Maybe there's something to religion. Then that's what this is like. Just the word spiritual health makes it seem like, oh, now even scientists are admitting that you need God. Mm. I that's mean, I'm. The, I'm on the side of using better term for sure. I, I think there's a better terminology for this. Ment Maybe. We already had a term for this. It's called mental yeah. health. Again, we already had it's mental health. Like, I think, what is your problem? I think you I think there there is enough of a difference. I, I if if instead of it's called spiritual health, what if it's like existential health? You know? And it's and it's these types of things. So a longing for community, right? Or a sense of a sense of purpose in life i i think those again can be rolled into mental health but i think this distinction is trying to get at mm. a little bit of a difference between those two things being the actual physical mechanisms in the brain um which we know we know a lot about and we can we can do things with and then these types of questions that we wrestle with that don't okay, necessarily right. connect to that physical problem I mean, mean it all connect it all connects to the physical because well sure the, but okay but but i know i understand that you don't have to deal with the phys physically describe what's happening to be able to address the problem yeah. okay but again in mental health you don't do that okay when you go and talk to a psychologist or a mental health expert they don't usually talk about your neurons or your the chemistry in your brain okay they ask you i don't know about so not necessarily they ask, but, ask you about they ask you about your what's your relationship with your parents or like they ask you about I don't know what 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 you are what what makes you get up out of bed every day like what do yeah, you look but forward if to okay, if so, they, in their in that process if they determine that there is a chemical imbalance or portions of your brain that have physical abnormalities right yeah so, of course of yeah. course but I'm just saying they don't. We already have an entire branch. Well, I think multiple branch of healthcare that is addressing both the physical aspect of mental uh, disorders or whatever or lackings, right? Um, and also the not so f directly physical parts of it. We already yeah. have that. I mean, like, like if your shrink is not talking to you about whether your life is purposeful yeah you may not have a good you may not have a good doctor like I'm yeah, totally, you, yeah. so yeah you need to fire that shrink like that's already included this whole having a purposeful life is already included it's so so it's part of it's yeah. not just it's not just the term for you it's also the distinction between <clears throat> these categories that you you would say is is problematic you would say because okay. for me i would say i'm cool with the distinctions between the two fine I would prefer instead of spiritual, we used a different word. You're saying you you don't want the word spiritual like me, but you also think the distinction between the categories isn't necessary. I mean, okay, so it's include as you could say, like part of mental health is, is this per having a purposeful life, having a good sexual sexual health, having a good um, I don't know diet, having a good exercise habit. Mm. Right, um, you know, having a good relation, having a good, um, you know, f support group of friends. Yeah, right, for sure. Do we have a name for that under mental health? Like, do we have a subcategory under mental health that say, talks about like your friend mm. group, like the area of mental health 
Intel Health that specifically focuses on seeing or seeing whether or not you so. have a good. Yeah, okay, no. I, I so, so yeah. So I think like they are like this specific corner of mental health that is yeah. about having a purposeful life, right? They are branding it as spirituality, even though we're not doing that with other parts of mental health. Okay, yeah. not that much. Okay, are okay. we? And I, the fact that spirituality is associated with religion. And this, they're rebranding a specific part of mental health as spirituality. To me, it seems like this is about something else. Mm. To me, this just seems like religious lobbyists are trying to use science as a way. Again, this is my conspiracy. I don't know, theory. I don't know if this is true, <laughs> but I just think like religion is trying to use like, oh, look, even WHO has put a stamp of approval of mm. why you need to go to church. Mm. The, the most uh, like credible, well-known health organization sure. is telling you that spiritual health is important. So you're not technically wasting your time if you go to your church. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah. That's what yeah. it sounds like. And I and I think that that concern, um, I agree with yeah. and I share. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm totally on board with that. And that's why I would say I would prefer a different term um, but at the same time, I understand where you're coming from, that these two categories don't actually have that distinction. Uh, I don't I don't feel too strongly either way. In my opinion on that, it's like eh, if we want to if we want to take a specific section and focus more on it and expand that and separate them out. Fine. But I would, again, totally, totally agree on the point of it, it should be a different terminology, like definitely. Um, yeah. because yeah, the more that we, the more that we do that kind of, kind of blurring of the edges there. Right. Um, I think the more that it does lead towards people going towards the religious and the, the unsubstantiated beliefs and stuff. So, but, yeah. but yeah, I think either way it was good. Good discussion. You know. Yeah. Bad decision though. My WHO. <laughs> I think WHO. Reach out to us because Armin's got some thoughts. Uh, I yes. know you guys watch. I know you're watching. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. Like, sense, by the way, I do acknowledge that sense of purpose and meaning are important things. Yeah, I, I didn't think you. Yeah, I didn't think you were saying otherwise. Yeah, I think yes. I think you were just saying all of that can be wrapped up and should be wrapped up in mental health. Yeah. And I just say, yeah, I can see that argument. And, I can also see the other side too. I also have to say just just because people are like, oh, religion gives people a sense of purpose, okay? And I do agree with that. It does. Mm -hmm. It just does a crappy job at it, okay? Sure. I think there are better it, it ways, does, yeah. It, it, it's, you know, people are like, oh, religion provides a service. It gives people a sense of purpose. Like, yeah, it does, it does, it does. Disasterly, like horribly. Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, there are way better ways to do that, okay? Absolutely. Uh, you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free. Too sexy to show most of it here on YouTube. We draw Muhammad, Hindu goddesses, sexy hijabi art, Jesus, Mother Mary, Japanese God, Greek gods, and much, much more. Click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art.